welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are on the hunt to find Pablo Escobar's hippos in the wild. If you know about Pablo Escobar, you know that he made his own zoo, Asia Vinapolis. I will put a link to our blog up there. But he had some animals that escaped and now they're wild in Colombia. They pose a very big problem to the environment here. They're very dangerous species and they're breeding way too fast. So the Colombian government is actually talking about killing them or neutering them. And so they might not be here for much longer. So that's why we're going today to try and find Escobar's hippos. Come with us on our journey. Our journey began with a 30 minute ride on a moto carro before we arrived at our very interesting mode of transport. Hola, soy de Santiago, de Río. Aquí con el compañero van a ir a mirar los hipopótamos. So you're probably just as confused as we were when we saw this man rolling up with the bike and the pallets. It's as crazy as it looks. Basically, this is a contraption, as you can see, with a, a motorbike attached to the wooden pallets. He casually places down some plastic lawn chairs, and there we go. Gravity keeping us in our seats, and my fear keeping me very still. This was one of the most fun forms of transport I have ever been on in my entire life. And what's even funnier is when you would encounter someone coming from the opposite direction. Essentially, the trains only ran on this track once a week. So the people in the neighboring villages, if they didn't have access to any other transport, they would use this track. The trick was the person who had the least amount of people had the responsibility to get up and physically lift their pallet to the side to let the person with the more people go past. Absolutely hilarious. Funnily enough, on our way to the small village, we actually had a small collision with another oncoming pallet. Luckily, there were no injuries apart from a broken chair and some broken sunglasses. We soon arrived in a very quaint village where the guide led us to a very small fishing boat to begin our departure in search of Escobar's escaped hippos. It's a good, good life. We are on the boat trying to find And just like that, in the distance, there was a hippopotamus just minding his own business, kind of checking us out. And we got close enough to get some really cool pictures and videos, whilst also maintaining a social distance as not to be killed. We did, however, drive past a couple times a bit fast just to get some good shots with the mouth open as he kind of gave us a little threatening glare. We did, however, try and find one more hippopotamus, which we did, but every time we got close, it would swim under the water and appear somewhere else. After a couple of failed attempts, we decided to be grateful for our very close interaction, happy that we managed to get some really amazing pictures and experience a hippopotamus in the wild. After a day packed with adventure, it was time for us to head back the exact way we came. This time, Mike and myself decided that we were actually going to sit on the base of the pallets just to feel a bit more safe because we all saw how sketchy those chairs were. However, our safety was compromised on the way back because as we were traveling, obviously it got darker and there were things crossing on the track that we couldn't be prepared for. We actually had two more collision scares on the way home. One of them was a cow that was really slowly crossing over. Now these pallets can slow down, but they can't come to a stop, hence our first collision. So when we saw this cow in the distance, we were absolutely shitting ourselves. Fair to say, in the last moment, the cow managed to get across the track. Remember, we're on floor level, so we were like death height. The cow went across and we clipped the back of its heel. That's how close and, and crazy this, this journey was. The final scare was a caiman of sorts that was lying across the track. We could see it in the distance. Luckily enough, it had more sense and it did jump out of the way right before we got there. What an adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video and leave me a comment. See you guys next time. Bye.